Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a super simple technique for getting a really cool looking tumbler really quickly. So we're going to be using a 22 ounce slim tumbler from the Stainless Steel Depot, and I'm using a sheet of pattern vinyl from the Vinyl Cottage. I'll have everything I'm using in the video listed and linked down below in the description box for you, along with discount codes if you'd like to do this exact same design. So what we're going to do on our tumbler is a full wrap with this vinyl. Now, typically on a tapered cup like this, I wouldn't do a full wrap with any sort of vinyl that has a pattern that you really want to meet up perfectly, like a stripe or a plaid or anything like that, because it will just be really, really, really hard to make it look right. But with patterns like this that are kind of more random and abstract, you could do this with a floral or like a, an alcohol ink vinyl design, anything that doesn't really have a specific pattern you can use for this technique. So what I'm doing is wrapping the vinyl around the cup with the backing still on so that I can make sure my full cup is covered with the vinyl. Then I'll tape down one edge of the backing with my painter's tape and then basically apply the vinyl just like I normally would to a straight edge tumbler. So I peeled back a little bit of the backing, cut that away and then adhered the vinyl to my cup. Then I used my squeegee tool. This is from the Bowen um, and I'm just going to push the vinyl onto the tumbler, pushing the backing away as I go literally exactly the same way that you would on a straight tumbler. Once I've done that, I'm going to cut away the excess vinyl from the top rim of the cup. Now, I always recommend when you're cutting vinyl to use as new of a blade on your craft knife as possible because it really makes a huge difference. I buy all of my blades in bulk on Amazon. I have them linked in my storefront, but I will link them in the description box down below as well because they're so much cheaper than like name brand blades and they work just as well. And when you change your blade as often as I do, you need to buy them in bulk. So I'll link those down below for you. Um, you can see how easily that new blade just cut right through that vinyl, literally like butter. Then I'm going to go through and pop any bubbles that I might have and then cut off the excess vinyl from the bottom of the tumbler. Now to do this, I'm just going to cut off that excess really roughly and I'm going to use my cup edging tool from Cami Page Boutique to really clean that bottom rim of the tumbler up. So I'll just push that vinyl down so we've got as flat of a bottom as possible and then I'll run the bottom of my tumbler along that blade that's in my edging tool and that will give us a really nice clean line down at the bottom of the cup. Now to cut the excess vinyl off around where the two edges meet, I'm going to do what I always do and that is cut a very wavy line to help disguise that seam. Now with patterns like this, it's really easy to hide your seam because the pattern will never meet up perfectly no matter what you do. So if you cut this little wavy line and make it kind of wonky around the pattern, it's just going to camouflage that seam even more because you don't have this really harsh straight line just going down your cup that always draws attention to where the seam is. So I always like to cut a little wavy line just to camouflage it a little bit more. So once I've done that, we can move into our next step. We're going to add some glitter to our tumbler here in this next step. And I'm going to do this mostly to, of course, add some sparkle, but also to help disguise that seam even further. So what I'm going to do here is take some UV resin. You can use any sort of adhesive that you want, but I'm trying to emulate like when you put glitter into your epoxy and then you can kind of spread it around your tumbler by hand rather than pouring it onto your cup. I want to have a lot of control here, so I'm going to put a really thin layer of UV resin on my tumbler and then I'm going to mix my glitter into another little medicine cup with some more UV resin. So if you wanted to, you can use UV resin or you can use regular epoxy if you want to apply your glitter in the same way. So after I had that thin layer of UV resin on, I mixed up maybe about five milliliters of my UV resin. Take a drink every time I say UV resin. <laughs> and I'm going to mix in some chunky parabatai from Peachy Olive Glitters. And then I'm going to spread that glitter and UV resin mixture all over my tumbler, 
Not doing too much though. I don't want to completely cover up all of the detail in my vinyl, but I do want to add some extra dimension, some more sparkle, and of course, like I said, I want to camouflage that seam even more. So I'm definitely putting this white glitter in all of those white spots on the cup, like where the vinyl is white. And then I'll add a little bit extra just all around the cup, wherever I feel is necessary. Now, of course, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I couldn't make a tumbler and not add any glitter to it. Like, who would I be if I did that? Once my glitter's been applied, I'm gonna let my cup spin on my turner in front of my UV lamp for probably about 30 minutes. I wanna make sure that this UV resin is completely cured before I go in and add another coat of epoxy on top of it. I will have my UV lamp linked down below in the description box. It's seriously one of the best things I've ever bought. I love it so much. After those two coats of epoxy were on my tumbler, I was ready to add my decal. So for the decal, I'm gonna use this bleach spot from the Vinyl Cottage as my background, and then I'm gonna use a decal from Peachy Olive Glitters on top of it. Now, for some reason, my phone decided not to film me putting the bleach spot on, but basically, I just put it in the spot I wanted it on as a sticker. I peeled it off the backing, put it down, but then what I did, because this decal from Peachy Olive Glitters is a clear decal, I needed to make sure that that bleach spot was shiny rather than the matte finish that it is when you just put it on the cup. So I added another super duper duper thin layer of epoxy over it just to shine that space back up again. I think I probably put maybe 10 milliliters of my Flint Sisters facet on the tumbler. And once that was cured, I was ready to add this decal on top. So for this, I'm gonna cut around the edges just to make sure that I get it as centered within that bleach spot area as possible. Now, this is really hard for me to do. I always get them off center. So I'm going to cut as closely to the lettering of the decal as possible so I can make sure that I get this placed correctly. Once I've got the decal cut out, I'm going to place it in the middle of the bleach spot, hold it in place, and then peel it back away from the backing just a smidgen and then I'll cut that little sliver of backing away and I'm gonna use that exposed area of the decal as my anchor. So I'm gonna make sure everything is placed correctly and then I'll lay that little area of the decal down as you can see. Then I'll use my squeegee to just push the rest of the decal down onto the tumbler and that's it, super easy. So there's what the decal looks like on the bleach spot. I love it. And now what we're going to do is finish off the bottom of our tumbler. We're gonna do this super simple. We're just gonna paint it black. So I'm gonna take my electrical tape and run it along that bottom edge of our vinyl. And then I'm gonna use my black acrylic paint, the Delta Creative Ceram Coat brand, of course, my favorite. And I'm just gonna paint a really nice coat of this black paint on the bottom of the cup. You can glitter it or do something else down here if you wanted to, but I didn't want to take away from the vinyl. I really just wanted the bottom to kind of blend in with the vinyl. So I decided to just go with plain old black. Once the paint was dry, I added my final two coats of epoxy and that was it. We are all done. So here is the final tumbler design. This was so easy and so fun to put together. If you need a really quick and impactful tumbler design, give this one a try. If you do, be sure to tag me in your photos at Made by Manny and Mal. I really want to see what you all come up with using this technique. So be sure to tag me and that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the elite fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And 
while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my elite fan members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.